collapses and looks and points to the ground. That's to show you that he's following the footprints of his enemy. You also notice that as he dances, he gets down very close to the ground. And that's to show you that he's trying to hide or conceal himself behind the bushes and the trees. But the most important thing about these warriors is the fact that they were very, very proud people. The tribe looked up to them. They had great honor and respect for the warriors. So whenever they would dance, they would always show you in their dance how proud they were to be the protectors of the people. And I'd like to also tell you a little bit about what our dancer is wearing, starting with his headdress. This is made out of porcupine hair. Not many people realize that porcupine not only has very long, sharp ears, he also has very long hairs, which are woven into this kind of a headdress. On his back, he's wearing what's called a dance bustle. These are made out of eagle feathers. And they say the arrangement of the feathers and the bustle represents the formation that the warriors would take when they went into a battle. On his chest, he's wearing what's called a breastplate. These are made out of buffalo bone. Just like in medieval Europe, they had metal armor. And over here, the warriors would wear a breastplate. And if they were shot at with an arrow, hopefully the arrow would hit the breastplate, bounce off, and not injure the warrior. Down around our dancer's legs, on near his knees, you see where they go two claws. These are taken from the hoofs of a deer. We would tie those to a thong, tie those to the legs to help them keep time with the rhythm of the drum. You go down on his ankles, you see bells. A lot of times when people hear these bells, they say, oh, jingle bells. And I said, you're absolutely right. These were the old sleigh bells that they had many years ago. Sleigh bells they had in winter time that they were tied to the horse. They took those, cut them up into shorter pieces, tied those to the legs, to their ankles, to also help them keep time with the rhythm of the drum. So this is the old style of the traditional warriors dance now from Oklahoma. Hey, hey, hey. 